Uh, my name is Laura Griffith Cochran. I am originally from the Comox Valley and I'm the curator of the Ukulet Aquarium here in Ukulet. Ukulet is a small community on the west coast of Vancouver Island, which is in British Columbia in Canada. So I studied um, biology at the University of Victoria. I used to come out to Ukulet and Tofino a lot when I was younger and in 2008 came out to Ukulet and this tiny little aquarium, this like little plywood and two by four structure had just reopened and so I started volunteering and I was in there a lot <laughs> um, and then I got offered a job and I, I wanted it, I didn't want to leave, it was amazing. One of the reasons why I got into marine biology was um, the quest for knowledge. There's an endless amount that we don't know. We're a messy, interactive, hands-on, like you can get into the touch tanks and pick things up and we're really trying to create those connections for people. We have people that come from all over the world to come here. It's a small community, but between Ukulet, the National Park and Tofino, we get almost a million visitors every year. I think that there's something uh, very unique about the ecosystem out here, um, but the diversity is really what I get excited about. It's one of the most diverse places in the world. The, there's, we get these great currents, all of the upwelling that brings fresh nutrients to the coast, and then there's all of the violence of the area, these waves that crash and spread everything around, um, mess up all these little creatures that are in the water so that other things can eat them. There's, there's just this bursting life on the coast and that's really fun to be in because you're always learning new things. It's a, it's, I think it's an amazing time to be a marine biologist and a woman because women are really dominating marine biology. It's, if you look at the, like the groups that were getting involved with marine biology years ago, like Jacques Cousteau, not a single woman on his boat. Um, but these days, the majority of the people I work with are women. It's really fun. It's, um, there's just different ideas, different approaches, um, but there's also some great men that we get to work with too. So I, I really love that it, it's a really collaborative time. I think it's really hard to narrow down what I find the most fascinating. It's kind of all of it. It's that it's so complex and interconnected. So if every time you start to focus in on one thing, it becomes more and more complex. Um, if you start looking at kelp growth, then you start looking at currents, and then you start looking at the nutrients in the currents, and then what else is eating those things, and what's living on the kelp, and then what's coming in to eat the things that live on the kelp. Um, I, I think that it keeps you very humble. You can never think that you're an expert. You're always learning. There's always way more that you don't know than what you think you know. Um, I think that because the ocean has a big effect on our lives, being able to create um, a connection for people and to um, encourage changes in behavior or a way that creates a better world for everyone um, is a really, it's really inspiring to be a part of that. I have a really hard time separating marine biology from the rest of my life. It's just like a all-encompassing passion. You know, like someone will eat something at like dinner and I'll be like, hey, check it out, <laughs> like, did you know? Um, or I don't know, uh, like there's this crazy fungus that grows on their skin and it helps to protect them. And um, I've had a couple of people be like, this is not the time. <laughs> So I get really excited about nutrient cycling. Um, there's been some really cool research that was looking at whale poop <laughs> and, uh, and how it's a vector, like whales are these vectors for nutrients around the world. So um, just like bears and wolves can be vectors for nitrogen by bringing salmon into the forests, whales can be vectors for iron, which is a limiting factor for a lot of species growth um, or a lot of, uh, yeah, growth of a lot of individuals um, and so when they travel around the world and poop 
then you get iron that's brought into the seawater and then other things get to develop and then other things eat those things and it's just awesome and complex and wonderful. Um, so some of those big picture studies looking at the connectedness of things are what I'm super excited about. There's an endless amount that we don't know and we don't even know what we don't know at this point. There's, it's, it's just such a huge force on our day-to-day -day lives um, and we don't even realize the magnitude that our, the ocean affects our lives. To, to be a marine biologist is to be surrounded by a lot of, of really hard truths every day and so I think to survive in this industry you have to have hope and so I do have a lot of hope that we can change things. I also think that we've gone from a, a time when um, we didn't believe that we could affect the ocean and we had this this like we can do whatever we want nothing's going to go wrong kind of mentality and so it's opening Pandora's box. We've learned that we can affect things with our behaviors. We've also learned that a lot of our behaviors are very damaging and I think people just have to take it seriously and and they also have to believe that their changes are are actually doing something. Um, there's a lot of of people that we talk to that they're like well I'm one person there's six billion people on the planet what's one more plastic bag um, but it takes everyone on board to, to have success and so I think people need to see themselves as important and part of this big project. So if we're, if we're going to take on fixing some of the problems we've created, um, I think that it's possible. We just have to take it seriously and do it.